All right, let me make a quick intraday update here for you guys in regards to that uh, dollar index um, false breakout that I mentioned. Yeah, so we can actually notice that we went on the 161.8 and we surpassed that already on the on this daily chart. Yeah, let me shrink it down on the two-hour chart. So basically, what I did is I explained to you how not to fall for this type of uh, um, situations when the market would, would, would uh, basically play tricks on you. So this is a perfect example, not to brag or anything, but this is basically, I want to make an example out of this so that you uh, you could understand how powerful Elliott Wave Analysis can could be. Now the, the thing is that at this stage, I am actually, let's say, quite confident that this is indeed a subminuet uh, four. yeah? So as I said, from there on, I would I would have expected basically this 161.8 percent Fibonacci um, extensions from from one towards two to complete basically this um, minor sorry minute three yeah so within this minute three we can actually see one two here minuet three which has topped at 200 uh, 200 percent 261.8 of uh, minuet one and two black and also 100 percent of uh, minute one and two red yeah so quite quite uh, quite a good count i would say right here i'm quite confident about this personally so three and then four minuet and as we can actually see from three towards four 100 percent is basically this um, represents this sub minuet three green sorry blue and then went on the upside with a false breakout right here so the example that i want to make is basically we're still we're still basically going uh, going on the downside to complete this black minuet five now the point is that you know uh, let's say for instance as a new low would have occurred you don't really have a proper a bullish divergence right here so many people would actually say right here doing this false break I would say okay the dollar is going up but we're, we're going in a correction guess what happens yeah this is exactly what happens this is a perfect example of how not to fall for that type of thing yeah so as we can see this is a uh, this is a potential ending diagonal right here which would uh, in my personal opinion would give a very nice you know uh, possible confirmation for a bullish uh, divergence. So as I said, I, I was expecting that to actually some volumes right here. As soon as I see this type of things, yeah, the divergence would would be um, would be possibly confirmed right here. So basically, this could um, correct, yeah. So the cycle can actually do its thing. Now, since that happened, yeah, I'm gonna show you on the euro dollar how I marked this. Now, this was a Okay, this was a, an update that I did. Yeah, so what what basically the my personal expectations would be at this stage Yeah, so this as I said would be a false breakout Hence the reason why I marked it with an X and then an ABC and Y now the way we are the way this this thing is uh, has basically gone on the upside Yeah, we can notice a running flat right here. So this would be either an A uh, or a 1 and then a 2 Yeah so the point here is that uh, this pretty much looks impulsive. So, uh, in other words, a five-way sequence would be appropriate for that for that intraday move. Yeah. So I'm on the Euro USD to our chart, by the way. So how I'm actually seeing this is as a potential ending diagonal. So I would have one here, two here, three, and maybe a bounce off right here, overlapping with this and ending diagonal, and a possible squeeze in the basically. Um, an overthrow, and of course I would be looking for, you know, for, for a nice, uh, you know, possibility for a divergence right here on top to occur, so we can actually correct on the downside, possibly break this this channel a little bit and hit the fibs. Yeah, so notice that this fib would be in focus and this fib would be in focus. Yeah, so that's that's basically for the for the euro usd this this actually this quick quick video acts like an update an intraday update so you can actually um see what i'm uh, what i'm doing uh, with, with my analysis and also doing the webinars and, and everything so i kept this uh, 
expanding and in diagonal with uh, with gold that's a USD intraday two hour chart yeah so let's say as how I label this one two three on the downside four and we're basically squeezing something right here yeah because of uh, the dollar's weakness now we already have a new high okay so I don't know if this is uh, if this is like gonna gonna push uh, aggressively and then reverse as a spin off top or uh, because we are hitting 261.8 61.8 already. However, in um, in gold the fifth wave uh, tends to be strong. Yeah, so we're gonna keep that in mind. I mean, I'm gonna keep that in mind and basically monitor it and see see what uh, what happens. As for crude oil, it seems like you know, WTI, it seems like we have five ways on the upside, one, two, three, this four uh, retracements, four, fourth wave retracement, uh, green, minute four, has retraced 23.6, 20, um, although it's not unusual right now because of this extension, yeah, as I said, shallow, uh, shallow retracements are expected within uh, larger extensions, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it that much. Plus, that you know, we're we're hitting some, uh, you know, this uh, this pitch fork, uh, which I drew as a channel and a border, uh, with with this act, acting like a 61.8 um, barrier. Okay. So how this can pan out? Either it's an ABC, okay, or it's not, and we basically wanna mark this as an X and this as a W, so I would basically in that type of situation would expect that the, uh, the Y would maybe C2 possibly hit the 38.2. Okay, however, the correction could uh, could finalize. Yeah, so this could uh, as well go in uh, end in diagonal some sort, but on the upside, notice notice here the volumes and uh, could we, it could give uh, a nice uh, a nice possible divergence right there so you know anyhow we'll keep this updated the market is moving i'm uh, basically doing some some posts doing some you know webinars you guys are able to follow me so you can get constant uh, updates on this yeah now as for as for bitcoin the two hour chart is not telling me much it has moved on the downside from there yeah so i would i would pretty much just leave it leave it running for now it's still bearish as we can see we um, I mean I do have here a possible bullish divergence but not really gonna fall not really gonna fall for it yeah because it can do this yeah and then go uh, go again so uh, as for Bitcoin it doesn't really look that clear for now so I'm just gonna hang around and see what it does and then possibly make a more intelligent calculated decision so this is all I wanted to say it's time for me to make a post